He had never seen such a sight before. A man, dressed in fine clothes and jewels, standing before him with a pile of garments in his arms. He looked at him with curiosity and suspicion, wondering what he wanted from him. He was naked, as he had been for most of his life. He had no home, no family, no possessions. He lived on the streets, begging for food and shelter. He had learned to endure the cold, the hunger, the shame. He had no need for clothes, he thought. They would only weigh him down, attract attention, invite trouble. But the man insisted. He said he was performing an act of mercy, one of the seven that God commanded. He said he wanted to clothe him, to cover his nakedness, to protect him from the elements. He said he was doing it out of love, not pity. He said he was his brother, his fellow human being. He did not believe him. He had heard such words before, from people who wanted to exploit him, abuse him, mock him. He had learned to distrust everyone, to rely only on himself. He had no love for anyone, not even himself. He had no faith in God, who had abandoned him. He refused the offer. He pushed away the clothes, he backed away from the man. He said he did not want them, he did not need them, he did not deserve them. He said he was fine the way he was, he was free, he was proud. He said he hated the man, he hated his clothes, he hated his God. The man did not give up. He followed him, he pleaded with him, he reasoned with him. He said he understood his pain, his fear, his anger. He said he had been in his place once, he had been naked too. He said he had been saved by someone who had clothed him, who had shown him kindness, who had given him hope. He said he wanted to do the same for him, to share his gift, to pass it on. He did not listen to him. He ran away from him, he cursed at him, he spat at him. He said he did not believe him, he did not care about him, he did not need him. He said he was alone, he was lost, he was doomed. He said he was beyond salvation, beyond redemption, beyond mercy. The man did not stop. He chased him, he caught him, he embraced him. He said he loved him, he cared about him, he needed him. He said he was not alone, he was not lost, he was not doomed. He said he was a child of God, a masterpiece of creation, a miracle of life. He said he was worthy of salvation, of redemption, of mercy. He did not feel anything. He was numb, he was cold, he was dead. He had no emotions, no thoughts, no dreams. He had given up on everything, on himself, on others, on God. He had nothing to live for, nothing to hope for, nothing to pray for. The man did not let go. He held him, he warmed him, he revived him. He said he had emotions, he had thoughts, he had dreams. He said he had something to live for, something to hope for, something to pray for. He said he had clothes, he had a home, he had a family. He said he had him, he had others, he had God. He did not know what to do. He was confused, he was scared, he was alive. He felt something, something he had not felt in a long time. He felt a spark, a flicker, a flame. He felt warmth, he felt curiosity, he felt gratitude. He looked at the man, the man who had clothed him, the man who had shown him mercy, the man who had loved him. He looked at the clothes, the clothes that covered him, the clothes that protected him, the clothes that gave him dignity. He looked at himself, himself who had been naked, himself who had been miserable, himself who had been reborn. He accepted the offer. He took the clothes, he put them on, he thanked the man. He said he wanted them, he needed them, he deserved them. He said he was not fine the way he was, he was not free, he was not proud. He said he loved the man, he loved his clothes, he loved his God. The man smiled. He said he was happy, he was proud, he was blessed. He said he had done his duty, he had fulfilled his mission, he had obeyed his God. He said he had performed an act of mercy, one of the seven that God commanded. He said he had clothed the naked, he had covered his nakedness, he had protected him from the elements. He said he had done it out of love, not pity. He said he was his brother, his fellow human being.